Good afternoon. Welcome back to Dreaming Dragon Fun. My name is Christy. And I'm so grateful to have you here. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. So, I've been trying to make a video now several times. And for some reason, I just haven't been able to. But I'm trusting spirit. That spirit is going to help me to make this video in spite of myself and how I might feel right now. Spirit loves us that much, y'all. I've been getting a lot of negativity. Have you ever noticed that in life there's givers and there's takers? I think one of the most deadly combinations is when you put two people together that one's the giver and the other's the taker. And that's all there ever is. And that's that six of pentacles in reverse. Because somebody's just selfish as hell. One-sided charity. And it causes a lot of bullshit and negativity. time for some five of cups moving on in forgiveness so that there can be hope again but we'll see what comes out today for some reason I'm feeling like somebody's been through something in the last 24 hours Could have been some kind of confrontation or argument or something that's taking place. There's something going on in the energy. The energy's funky today. Real funky. We're we'll gonna find out though what message spirit might have for us, okay? Spirit, can you take over this reading right now? Guide us. Open my intuition, open my third eye. Help me to see, hear, see, and feel only what you would like to have come through. Please give me a message today. I'm in desperate need of a message from the Holy Spirit. Alright, let's see how Spirit's working in our home life today. Spirit, how are you working in our home life today? <laughs> Knight of Swords came out sideways. Knight of Swords came out sideways. That can be a violent, desperate, or cruel person. going back somewhere with some information. Where are they going with this information, I wonder? What information? Alright, so in our home life right now, there's somebody that's running, running somewhere quick with some information. Can you clarify the Knight of Swords? What is this Knight of Swords doing? You might have on um, a white sweatshirt or hoodie. You might like to hunt. You might like to ride motorcycles. You might have on um, black shorts, you might have dark skin, you might have a smart watch, you might live somewhere where there's a dirt road, it's a lot of cards here. Can you clarify this night of swords please? We're running somewhere with the information that something hasn't ended. Something hasn't quite ended. It might be tough. It might be time to forgive and move on from this situation. Clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> There's some Tower in reverse, but it's inevitable.
there's a there's an empress and a man. And according to this this hope for recovery here. This hope for forgiveness and recovery. Somebody hurt somebody's feelings. There were some illusions that got cut through though. And it was illusions about a commitment. It's just time to move on and forgive. Forgive and move on from this. That's how spirit's working in our home life. How are you working in our work life, spirit? Time to forgive and move on. How are you working in our work life? Our ten of cups is in reverse. Our ten of cups is in reverse. There's a broken, a broken commitment. Somebody's commitment is broken. This is how you work in our work life. Why is the ten of cups in reverse? Because this very passionate woman is in reverse. Somebody broke a commitment to this woman. Maybe you worked with her and you quit. You quit. You quit on her. What's our surprise for today's spirit? What kind of surprises do you have for us today? There's not going to be any, there won't be any recognition of this. There won't be any recognition of it. Somebody's not going to recognize that they even did it. What else is new? What else is freaking new, right? What is our role in this? not using our intuition about this situation. We're not using our intuition that there's another option. What's the likely outcome? What's the likely outcome? We're going to give some attention to this situation. Somebody gave up too soon and they were lazy. Somebody gave up too soon and they were lazy. That's the outcome. They're going to give up too soon. Why is... Why do, what new direction do we not see? What other option do we not see? The option that we don't see is that this isn't over. This manipulation isn't over. Or maybe it's that we can end this manipulation. Why don't we end this manipulation? The hermit showed up. The hermit is about being introspective, going inside, taking a look at what's going on from an internal perspective. What is my part in this? Clarify the hermit. Somebody thinks 
that if they talk, talk, if they, if there's going to be some kind of communication that there's hope not to walk away from this. Some communication is going to give you hope that you shouldn't walk away from this. If it continues to happen over and over again, Spirit, why would we want to not walk away from this? Because there's going to be an apology and a commitment. When pigs fly. <laughs> when pigs fly, there will be. Why is this page of cups here? Because somebody's looking for an opportunity to be a king of pentacles. A king pen! Somebody's looking for an opportunity to be a king pen! They're doing a hell of a job fucking that up, aren't they? deceiving <clears throat> themselves into thinking that they can get away with this. Why is this why why should hope be returned again? Because of this tower. What's this tower? Can you clarify the tower? Immaturity. Somebody's being immature. Clarify what this tower and immaturity. This high priestess. that this person can't make up their mind about what they want and that's why they keep doing this this person knows can you show me this person's true intentions towards the high priestess they can't make up their mind. 
that's a little bit of an immature stance. They're stuck. They're trying to see this differently, but what is their true feelings towards this person? True feelings, please, towards this person. They're fighting them. They're fighting their feelings. It's an air sign. Probably an air sign and a fire sign. What feelings are they fighting? Wanting to be with this person. Wanting to be with them in a divine partnership. Why? What is it? What exactly is it that they are resistant towards? Why is that? What's the resistance about? Show us where this resistance really stems from. They're not playing in something. This was turned over too. They didn't plan on you giving up so fast, which I don't think it's fast. I mean, I think this has been happening over and over again. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> it looks like both of you were pretty upset. You might be upset about money. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Maybe you're both excited about this new beginning and you're acting out because you are excited. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. You got two aces, three aces here already right now. Four. You have all four. like somebody has a lot of feelings for you. In fact, they are about to have a new beginning with you in every way possible. Better communication, probably a lot of sex, a new beginning in the world, and love, a brand new love, a love you've never had before. So why the hell are they being so mean? They're starting arguments. Because right now they feel like they don't have anything to offer except this unconditional love. Every journey begins with a single step though, right? Spirit, what do you say about this relationship? Please give me a good, strong answer. What do you say? <coughs> the devil popped out. What about the devil? Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. The sun came out sideways. Clarify the devil and the sun. That's a powerful combination. That's clarified by a very passionate man wanting a commitment. It's just not happened yet. It looks like to me this person has marriage on their mind. But let me clarify what's going on here. Why is this King of Wands here with the Four of Wands? Yep, 
because this other thing then hasn't ended. What needs to end? It looks like they have another person and it could be a Sagittarius. Or maybe that's what did end. Maybe this relationship with this Sagittarius ended. And what's going to happen <laughs> Why is everything in reverse? <laughs> because there's no commitment. <laughs> this woman do spirit because I'm about sick of looking at this this is despicable it's Gemini and Sagittarius it looks like no choice but to what unless I end it no choice but to end it hermit's on the bottom of the deck. Clarify what you're saying here, Spirit. Clarify what you're saying all over again. All over again, please. How are you working in our home life? How are you working in our home life, Spirit? Sagittarius, probably, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and it could be, um, well, okay, let's just see, alright, the way you work in our home life is, there's a very intuitive woman, who's been, I think, hurt or upset, why is the Queen of Wands and the Hermit in reverse, as far as how you're working in our home life? What's going on with this fire sign? Why is she in reverse? Because she got pissed off and ended this. She got mad and ended this. How are you working in her work life? You're helping her to have new, exciting ideas. And giving her the ability to not be in denial and to not be hurt anymore. You're moving her real fast away from denial and being hurt all the time. That's how you're working in her work life. What's the surprise for today? What surprise do you have for her today, Spirit? She's got some choices. Clarify these choices that she has. Clarify the choice. Clarify these different choices. She, she has a choice to walk away from this and move away from this. Like, she has, she can either walk away or she can get in a boat and go. <laughs> but she can leave this situation. Her choices are she can leave and she can leave. <laughs> what, what is our role in this? What is our role in this? What is 
start rolling this today again. Here it says, oh, <laughs> we can choose this King of Pentacles. What's the likely outcome? What's the likely outcome of just choosing this King of Pentacles? It's going to be a painful ending, but it's going to restore equal give and take. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Resting and being strong and overcoming. Resting and overcoming. Where if I love them? No trust. Uh, probably not going to choose this person. You're probably going to end it. Clarify the Ace of Wands back here. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Because somebody was being defensive. Somebody was being defensive because there was some problems. Can you clarify what those problems were about? Let me guess, Pinnacles. Oh, somebody broke your heart. Somebody broke this woman's heart. Probably more than once. Why did they break their heart? Because they didn't want everything with them. They didn't want everything with them. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. They were manipulative and controlling. What else? They were supposed to be their divine partner. But they were manipulative, manipulative, controlling, defensive, and they broke your heart. So you ended it. Even though they were your divine partner. Doesn't that suck? So let's find out what happens next. What happens next, Spirit? Can you show me what happens next? Defensive. Defensive. You don't be defensive. And stubborn. Clarify this. There's going to be communication. Why is the Three of Cups here, though? Why is the Three of Cups here? <laughs> because of this tower. There's going to be a tower you're not expecting. And whatever this tower is, it's something they want to celebrate. So now all of a sudden they got something they want to celebrate. They think everything's going to be fine. Clarify this tower. Death and the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify death, please. Transformation. Clarify death. Four of Pentacles. Scarcity mindset. 
Clarify what you're saying, because I'm not sure I'm understanding. Clarify what you're saying. Queen of Pentacles doesn't have a scarcity mindset. Oh, they do when it comes to love in this kind of bullshit. And somebody wants to all of a sudden offer you this new love. Who is it? Clarify the Ten of Wands. Looks like you want to offer it to yourself. Or it could be another woman. This could be two women. Why is the Queen of Wands here? It's going to be growth. Confidence, too. This cycle is ending. This cycle is ending. This woman is being transformed from a scarcity mindset about love because of this bullshit she's been through. And now she's going to have confidence and have, be happy again because this is over. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun, please. <laughs> She's going to also be successful and be recognized for her work. She's probably a card reader or somebody who's in the spotlight. Clarify the success and recognition. <laughs> going to be restored, she's going to move ahead, she's going to have a foundation and a commitment, and she's going to collaborate. Who is she going to collaborate with? She's a high priestess. Maybe she's going to collaborate with another high priest or another high priestess. What else would you like to say about this partnership? It's going to be a brand new beginning. There's going to be a very painful ending, but then things are going to balance out and become equal. Can you clarify this very painful ending? Is this between her and this man? It's going to be a wheel. Something's going to end That's what that was like death. Clarify this wheel. Maybe that's the exciting news this person has. They want to tell you that's something that they're involved in, in is ending. Clarify this wheel. You're going to get real quick communication about somebody's deception. That's the wheel. You're going to get real fast communication and movement about deception and strategy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? It's a secret. It's an illusion. Clarify it. Healing and recovery. I still don't understand what this deception is. It's mind games and control. Just like we talked about a while ago. You're going to get healing from this. You're going to get healing from this bullshit. Why is the Eight of Wands here, though? How are they going to get healing from it? How does this Eight of Wands factor in? Dang. Because you're going to get... Somebody's going to reevaluate something. Maybe they're going to reevaluate their bullshit. What are they? Who's? Oh, what's going on here? There's going to be some competition, some conflict, and some decisive action. Clarify what's going on here. I don't understand. This brand new beginning. 
of imprisonment. I don't know if I'm getting all this. And then obsession on the bottom of the deck. Alright, so talk to me again. Tell me what's going on here. Clarify this king of swords. There's that wheel. Okay, we're to the wheel now. Remember they wanted to talk to you about something they wanted to celebrate. Clarify the wheel. The wheel is clarified by not wanting to celebrate. <laughs> Maybe not even wanting to be friends anymore. Clarify the three of cups. That's clarified by not making a decision and being stuck. They don't want to. They don't want to make a decision and they're stuck. And the hermit. Why is the hermit? Named? Why are these all three major arcanas here? Clarify what's going on here. The same exact cards with a different deck. Somebody wants to have a divine partnership with equality. That's why all these major arcanas are here. This wheel is what's going to help them to see that they want this because you walked away from them, I guess. Clarify what you're saying, spirit. Yeah, this person was fighting and being deceptive. And they thought they were good. They thought they had nine cups and that's all they needed. But it looks like to me they, they're fighting their feelings. But let me clarify that. <clears throat> With that two of cups, that would indicate that they they would they in there in this hangman mode, and they're fighting how they feel because of how they acted. Clarify this five and seven here. Yeah, that's what's given the situation hope is how they acted because they know that you did not deserve that. Okay, that's what this is about. Is this? They're moving real fast towards seeing their own shit here. Alright, why is this Ace of Cups here? There's the anger and confusion. Clarify the Five of Swords. They were being defensive. And they have a message about justice and you, this loving woman. Why is justice here? They have some kind of idea about how to restore justice to this situation. Clarify what that might look like. What will that look like, restoring justice? They're not happy. They're happy. Why are they happy? Have, why do they have ten cups but no victory? Why is the six of wands in reverse? Because of a transformation. Transformation of what? This commitment that they didn't have. Why is that here? This is unconditional love, but not victory. They knew that they had unconditional love. And the Six of Wands was clarified by a transformation of this not having a commitment. And now, somebody's not moving towards judgment because they don't have a commitment with this person. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse here with judgment?
because this person, this air sign, wants to be happy. And they know they can't be right in this situation and be happy. They, ha they might actually have to humble themselves and apologize here. I guess. There's the devil again. Alright, let's look at this again. I think that's what's going on here. deck of cards right here about this relationship. Somebody's been wearing a mask and awakening. What else? There's been some lessons learned and somebody's taking action. What else? Something might have happened in the fall or is going to happen in the fall. What else? There's going to be some guidance. There's been some nostalgia. There's been some mirroring and then there's twin flame. And then on the bottom of the deck we have summer. So maybe your relationship ended in the fall. What you don't see coming is that you're going to be reunited in the summer. I don't know. What would you say out of this deck of cards about this this connection spirit? I can't handle your words right now. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Usually an apology works pretty fucking well. <laughs> My heart is telling me just do it. Your beauty still moves me. I need more time to figure things out. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. And I feel damaged like I just can't do this. Maybe you can't. What would you say out of this deck of cards here? <laughs> What would you say out of this deck of cards, Spirit? Can you give us something good? No corny BS now. Dang, these cards have a lot to say. <laughs> Alright, act right or I'm going to put y'all away. I have a special treat for you. We will be again one day very soon. You deserve so much more than I can give you, but I'm working on becoming the person you deserve. And nobody will stand in my way again of having you by my side. <coughs> and then I'm learning to listen to my intuition and use it to make better, more healthy decisions. What would you say out of this deck of cards right here? Whenever you lock eyes, it's as though you are under a spell. Spend time with people who get you. Expectations lead to disappointment. And their higher self speaks to you through music 
and don't let anyone play mind games with you. No shit. And then on the bottom of the deck, waiting for someone will make to make you happy is disempowering. Amen to that. Amen to that. Alright, can I please get one of these out of the sex for The energy is... <laughs> okay, do you really love them? Then wash, fold, and put away the clothes. Sounds like to me somebody's had a fight or they're in separation. You're fucking stressed. Massage, binge watch, and chill. If you are in a connection, you might have just had a fight and needed some time apart. Irritated? Eat, cuddle, sleep, repeat. But if you're in separation, it sounds like to me that somebody's coming back either in the summer or the fall. Get hot and sweaty, work out and grow all this fuck together. Time for shit to get real. Get honest as fuck. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be a freaking miracle for once in a while? Alright, can I get one of these cards right excuses am I making right now? No more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. Today's sole action. If it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Today, make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart. You will be led. And then, am I letting fear stop me? Are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it's up to you to see that take see that by taking action. Today's soul action. Today be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero, so that is who you will become. I feel you, baby. I feel you. I go with this connection. Thank you so very much. Thriving. <coughs> Thriving. African savanna. In the African savanna lives the tree of life. You remember that little tree of life that was staying I couldn't get rid of it? In the African savanna lives the tree of life. The boaba tree. The boabab tree. This is a prehistoric species that predates humans. It is over 200 million years old. It has adapted, survived, and thrived in a harsh environment where so many other species have gone extinct. The Boabab can live up to 5,000 years and can reach almost 100 feet tall. It is a succulent, which means that in the rainy season it absorbs and stores water in its enormous trunk. This water helps produce a nutrient-dense fruit in the dry season. When the land is parched and arid, these remarkable plants provide shelter, food, and water for both animals and humans. It is one of the only plants in the world that doesn't drop its fruit where it, should, where it would spoil. It stays on the branch where it dries out. When picked, the fruit has a three-year shelf life. Wow! No wonder it's called a tree of life. The sacred landscape wants you to know. If you draw this card, you are a survivor. And not only do you survive, but you use situations that others might find challenging to thrive. 
you expand when others shrink. This may be the time to adapt to your circumstances rather than be overcome by them. You have a remarkable ability to step beyond any challenge. You are strong. Others may shelter in your energy, and right now that's okay. Through giving to others, you are in turn nourished. This card may be urging you to step into the primal, primordial power, wild part of your powerful wild part of yourself. Doing this will increase your vitality and contribute to your overall well-being. And then on the bottom of the deck again is flexibility. All right, trinket We'll do questions next time. I think my battery's about to die. I have two hearts connected. I have an angel. I have that cross thing. I have a shell. Maybe your name is Shell. Michelle. I have a fish. I have an elephant. I have a crescent on a moon with a star. I have my ballerina. I have you are always in my heart. I have that heart with the wings with the keyhole. I have a rocket ship. I have all four directions. I have a fox, and aren't they sneaky as fuck? I have a wave. I have a lot of ocean stuff here. I have a mermaid. I have a heart with a cross in it. I have a nail. Maybe you're a carpenter, or maybe you love one, or maybe we just nailed it. I have an elephant. I have another elephant. <laughs> I have another elephant. Another elephant. I have an owl. I have a deer. I have a turtle. I have another shell or another Michelle. I have that tree of life. <laughs> I have a snowflake. I have an angel. I have a bee, which always reminds me of the police. I have a holly hobby. <laughs> I have a spatula. Maybe you love to cook. Maybe you like me. You like to cook all the time. And I have a ball. Maybe you play ball. I have a wild horse. I have something that says wish. Maybe you like to shop on wish. I have a Jesus, a Catholic okay guys i'm back i have gone through pure hell to make this video i have really gone through hell to make it and i'm gonna finish it why is it blurry sometimes they'll be blurry because of fingerprints and sometimes it's because somebody doesn't want to see what they're seeing i have another catholic trinket i have one two Three, three, <laughs> two identical keys, two identical keys, and one other key that's tiny. So maybe you need some keys to something. I have a heart that says love, <clears throat> throat chakra. <clears throat> I have one of those little old-fashioned perfume bottles like you squeeze or it could be a pouch holding something it could be an ancient amulet pouch or something I have never never give up I have a cross with Jesus on it I have oh my gosh y'all look I have a key that looks like it has Jesus on it I've never seen that key before. That's a special key. Very special. Very special indeed. Look at that key. Very special key. I have a tower. Maybe you live in Paris or maybe you live in a tower. I have a music note. I have a crown. Maybe you drink crown or maybe you're somehow significant with crown. And then I have a feather. Alright. I'm going to put all these trinkets back because I, I want to look at this message again. 
But I want to get trinkets from the other bowl first. Hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to see here. Can I have trinkets from this other bowl, please, Holy Spirit? I have another tower. Maybe you live in a tower. I have my cool ass spirit wearing the bandana. I have a lotus flower. I have a horse. I have a ball. I have cherries. Y'all know what that means, celibacy usually. I have a star of David. Maybe your name is David. I have an infinity sign. I have, I choose strength. I have an angel. I have a fancy heart. I have my black tourmaline. <laughs> Not again, y'all. I have, I choose strength. And weakness is a choice. I have a feather. I have love. I have that maple leaf. Maybe you live in Canada or maybe it's a marijuana leaf. And then I have a cactus because somebody was definitely acting like a prick here. Alright, so what I feel like is that there's been an argument or falling out between two people probably in a twin flame connection which is what it says right here that this is a twin flame connection I mean that card doesn't stand for anything else it's just the twin flame card so we have twin flame relationship where somebody was acting out of character or maybe that's just the way they always act and they were being very un un ungrateful um probably hurt the other person's feelings pretty severely and this is probably not the first time that it's happened it probably has happened many times in the past and this person usually just forgives and forgets but i get the feeling that this person is not only ready to walk away from this they're ready to walk away from love altogether because they're tired they're tired they're tired of being taken for granted of they're tired they're just tired all right Spirit, how would you like for me to look at this from a different angle how would you like for me to see this from a different perspective let's let's look at this again from a different perspective Show me what's going on in this relationship that's causing this conflict. Can you please show me out of this deck of cards? What is Divine Masculine's part in this? Can you show me from this deck of cards? What is Divine Masculine's part in this? Show me Divine Masculine's part in this, please. Divine Masculine Big Dreams came out in reverse. There's that whale tail. I see a full moon. Big Dreams, Divine Masculine. You either have big dreams or you're not dreaming big enough. Alright. What is Divine Feminine's part in this? <laughs> what is Divine Feminine's part in this? Recognition. Recognition came out. Big dreams in reverse and recognition. Let's clarify. And then on the bottom of the deck we have surrender. Alright, let's clarify what big dreams in reverse is all about. Why is big dreams out here? It's Divine Masculine, you came out in reverse. Why is Divine Masculine in reverse? Because you cannot make up your mind and you won't see this from their point of view. You're, you're being selfish. You're being selfish. 
All right, wise recognition here for Divine Feminine. Because they have an idea. Clarify this idea. Clarify this idea. The world. Why is the world in reverse? The world is upside down. Why is their world upside down? Because their wish, there's a wish fulfillment here, and it would be a, a divine partnership. But for some reason, their wishes aren't coming true. Why is there nine of cups in reverse? Why is divine feminine's nine cups in reverse? <clears throat> because they have a lot of regrets and this relationship has been very stressful. Divine Feminine is stressed the fuck out. Spirit's trying to give Divine Feminine another cup. These other cups have spilled. There's no sense in worrying about what's already done. There's another cup here that Spirit's trying to give you, Divine Feminine. But you stress the fuck out and sad. Excuse my language, please. What? What, why is this Divine Masculine in this hangman mode? What is the true situation here with this Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine, you need a wheel. Or you're going to have a wheel. But let's find out. This is karma. This is a karmic wheel. And it never stops turning. It turns one way or the other. Depending on, you know, what we've been talking about. What you what you put out is what comes back to you. So let's see what you've been putting out, Divine Masculine. Because <coughs> right now, your big dreams are in reverse. And you're stuck being selfish. And being selfish, being stuck. Maybe you're not being selfish. Maybe you're just stuck and you need this wheel to turn. Alright. Why is the wheel here? You might have fuzzy dice hanging in your car. Somebody has on a white sundress and has blonde hair. Somebody has on knee-length pants with fringe like that come right below your knee. Nice, fancy, high heel shoes. There's a race difference for some of you. Somebody might have a red dress they're planning on wearing somewhere. Or you might have a red dress that you do wear somewhere. You might have one of those chests in your living room or in your bedroom. Blue is, green is standing out very strongly to me here. Rainbows, geometry, um, gambling. Somebody might like to gamble or play lottery. Alright, can you show us what this wheel is for Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine. I'm going to put it back, but that right there tried its damnedest to pop out. Clarify the wheel. Clarify the wheel, please, Holy Spirit. Good, strong answers for this wheel. Defensiveness came out. This wheel is about being defensive. What about being defensive? Divine masculine. You weren't being, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, and that's what I was going to say. you got two women, Divine Masculine. You've got two women. You're trying to move ahead with two people. One for the money and one for the love. You've got this balanced out with two people. 
and your will is making you be defensive to both of them. You're treating both of them like shit. Snapping and popping off at the mouth. So, what's going to happen here? Both of these women are in the upright. You're the one that's in the reverse. You're going to spy and find out that you're not the Casanova you thought you were. Clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. And a knight is very immature for an emperor. It might be time to get some rest. Why does Divine Masculine need some rest? Because you're not walking away from something, but something is ending. It's because you're not walking away from something, and something is ending. Something very, very difficult you've been through is ending. What are they not walking away from? Can you show me what they're not walking away from? This commitment. What's ending? This four of wands is what you're not walking away from. And what's ending is you moving slow and steady towards something. Slow and steady. You're not moving slow and steady because spirit is about to transform you into moving very fast towards nine pentacles. Something's going to end that you were moving slow and steady. You were supposed to move slow and steady, but this something is going to end that's going to push you, transform your situation to nine pentacles. That's almost ten, baby. Why are they not walking away from, what commitment are they not walking away from? What commitment are they not walking away from? This devil. The devil you've been going around in circles with. This devil. You've got an exciting message about this devil. And there's going to be a tower about an exciting message. Something to do with this devil. Clarify this devil. There you are, Divine Masculine. Clarify this tower, please. Clarify this exciting message, please. It's about you holding on to this one right here. Does Divine Masculine keep holding on to this air sign? Why does Divine Masculine? Because it's somebody you knew growing up or in the past. Is this a good choice for Divine Masculine? No, it's not. She's in reverse because she has another man. You know that. And in spite of you not walking away from this, this person that you go around in circles with, the one you holding on to that you knew from the past, in spite of that, spirit is going to transform you in something that you're stuck in, that you were moving slow and steady away from. And death is going to transform you to move real quick towards having nine pentacles. Can you show me, starting with this emperor who's in hangman mode, what is going to happen, spirit? Clarify it with this deck of cards. This person you're holding on to, 
that's manipulative. Gemini, this is you. You have to make a choice about this air sign you're holding on to that's manipulative. What happens if they choose to stay with this air sign? You show us what happens if they choose this air sign? If you choose this air sign, you're going to be unhappy. You won't be able to see things from a different perspective. You'll be out of balance and you'll keep moving slow and steady. Like we have over here. Before spirit propels you forward. Alright. What's going on with this female air sign? Judgment. Clarify judgment for this female air sign. That's a legal situation in its spirit. The page is in reverse. So over here, this was an idea. There's no idea. Why is there no idea? Because of deception. You don't have any idea, but there's some deception. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse for this air sign? Hmm. This person is about to get locked up. This air sign is about to get in trouble for something, is what it looks like to me. They're fixing to have some judgment come down on them. Why is this air sign in trouble? What have they done? They did something real wrong. Clarify what that might be. Were they passing something? They moving real fast towards the nightmare themselves. Because of something they done, something they said. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Can you clarify the Eight of Wands, please? They, they were looking for an opportunity for Ten Cups also. Where were they getting it from? This woman. What did they do to this woman? They got her locked up too. What else do you want to say about this situation? They're spying and running back also. They're spying and taking information they find somewhere. Where are they taking it to? Two of Cups came out. Clarify the Two of Cups. Transformation. Uh-huh. They're using information that they're getting to try and make you think that you're their divine partner. <sighs> this is complicated as hell. Look at this again because this air sign maybe they are your divine partner maybe that's who you're supposed to be with Gemini another air sign let's look at it again
Alright, let's try it again just to be sure I didn't miss something. God knows I can, and this has been a complicated reading. Aren't they all? Alright, you have big dreams and they recognize them. Okay, that's where we're at right now. We're fixing to clarify this whole message over. Alright. Divine Masculine, clarify big dreams for Divine Masculine. What big dreams does Divine Masculine have? Manipulation came out. Clarify manipulation. Not investing any time in this love with this woman. You don't want to. You don't want to have equal give and take, or maybe you do want to have equal give and take. Not wanting to work on this. Because there's no equal give and take. That's what it looks like it's saying. You're, there's manipulation here. And you don't want to work on this. Because there's not equal give and take with this woman. Alright. Why is recognized here for Divine Feminine? Because Divine Feminine recognizes that you're her Divine Partner. What about this Two of Cups? This would make Divine Feminine very, very happy. Is there any choice, any chance of this happening? There's a good chance that it will. What has to change in order for this to happen, though? That will. There's got to be a will. you got to walk away from what's not serving you anymore, Divine Masculine. You've got to defend something. You got there's defense here and the eight of wands in reverse. Why is the why is the defense card here? Stand up for what? You gotta defend yourself. To end this nightmare. Why is the two of wands in reverse though? Because right now you're not planning on doing that. You're just resting. Why is the eight of wands in reverse? Because you still want to go round and round and play. And you're not ready for all of this. You just want to be friends. You're not ready for all this seriousness. You just want to be friends. So, what happens now? What should Divine... What happens now? What should Divine Feminine do? She has a choice. She has to make a choice about what to do with this Twin Flame. What should she do? Huh. Interesting. She's going to be a High Priestess. And there's not going to be a new start. She's going to she's going to think about how things have been in the past, and because she's a high priestess, she knows there won't be a new start. What will happen for her, universe? What has she manifested? Nothing's going to happen, but you're going to have a broken heart, Divine Masculine. Why is Divine Masculine's heart going to be broken, Spirit? Why will Divine Masculine's heart be broken? Because of this third party that you're looking for an opportunity to be with or to have. What, what about this third party? not going to end. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Deception came out. There's going to be, this deception is not going to end. 
with this third party. Who's this third party spirit? This woman right here. This person, this deception is not going to end with this person, Divine Masculine. Do, but Divine Feminine you knows this because she's a high priestess. What advice would you give Divine Feminine? Something's about to end, Divine Feminine. What's about to end, Spirit? This situation Divine Masculine's in? Oh. Yep. This other woman is about to end. And then what happens after she ends? The cycle is about to close. And you're going to be this Empress, Divine Feminine. Why is this going to end with this air sign? Can you show us again why it's going to end with this air sign? Because this... Commitment is not happy. Why is it not happy, Spirit? Why is it not happy with this air sign? Dang. Because this Emperor is going to do what? Run back to who? Oh. Uh-huh. Walk away from what no longer serves them. And run back to who? They're going to stop being angry and confused. And what else? They're going to stop being sad and not wanting this love that you have for them that's not working. And what else? Spirit, can we close this contract? Can you give us the option to close this contract? There's a tower. Can we just close this twin flame contract? The recognition in the new beginning is going to be in reverse. For who? Gemini the lovers came out. A decision about what? Oh my god. This devil. There's going to be a decision, a karmic decision about this devil. And it has something to do with something you've been waiting for not getting there. Why won't it get there? Because of this high priestess that's been kept secret, this fire sign. How can she do that, Spirit? She can't control that. What, what do you mean? How, how is this possible? I don't understand. Universe, what are you up to? The end of your Ten Pentacles being in reverse, High Priestess. Why is the Ten of Pentacles being in reverse going to end? Because... You're about to very quickly in this nightmare. And this union, this reunion or union that you don't think is going to happen is about to be transformed. This twin flame reunion is about to be transformed. How is that possible? This player, what about this player spirit? <laughs> spirit says there's hope for the player. There's hope for this player. Hold on. 
because you're manifesting movement. It's in reverse right now because it hadn't happened, but you are manifesting some movement, Divine Feminine. So just hold on. What might that movement look like, Spirit? What might that movement look like? Your king, your king pen. And justice. All right, this is getting to be ridiculously long. Do y'all want to ask some questions of spirit today? Have you got a question? Okay, you ready? It says, look for sign and romance. All right. If you're new here, you ask a question and I try to get you an answer. Have you got another question? Get more information. A year from now, there's something better and romance again. All right, one more question. You got your question? Let go. No. Well, I asked a question that time and I'm not surprised at all by the answer. Alright, Spirit, thank you very much anyway. Angels, how do you have our backs in this situation? It's a bunch of bullshit power. Miracles. Manifestation. Healing. Wisdom. Grace. Knowledge. Unity. And ministration. Alright. Anything else you want to say today, Spirit, before I close this message? See what might need to be surrendered. What do we need to surrender today, Spirit? Surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Effortlessness. <clears throat> Might need to have some better boundaries, too. Surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe, and answers and support will arrive. Might need to surrender some addictions. Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you might approach the situation more calmly. And surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. 
then you can own your power and soar in your life. Hmm. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goal, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Alrighty then, I guess that's going to be it for today. I don't know how much good I've done the situation. But for some reason I'm being told to get one of these. Maybe forgiveness will come out. Whoa! <laughs> love. Caring for others, expecting nothing in return. We love because he first loved us. 1 John 4.19 And joy. Choosing to praise God in all things. A happy heart makes the face cheerful. The heartache crushes the spirit. Alright, so that's the reading. And I am going to continue on and do some other um, signs today while I'm on the roll. Alright, let me get trinkets again one more time. Just a few from this bowl right here. I have a cross inside of a heart. I have a heart with love inside. I have a rocket. I have a butterfly. I have a tree of life. I have Jesus, I have a wild horse, I have an elephant, I have a leaf for the fall, I have an apple for a teacher, I have another elephant, I have that tree of life inside of that circle, I have a teeny tiny little key, I have a sun, I like the sun, I have a pentagram, I have a butterfly, I have a cat, and I have a peace sign. Can I get rocks? Let me get trinkets again from this bowl right here, please, Holy Spirit. I have, I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. I have Kundalini rising. I have a lotus flower. I have the world. I have that cool ass spirit wearing a bandana. I have weaknesses of choice. I have live, laugh, and love. I have a crescent moon with a fairy, and I have not one, but two cactuses, because maybe two of y'all were being a prick. <laughs> or maybe you just live somewhere where they have cactuses growing outside. Can I get rocks, please, for this crazy-ass reading? I have kindness, friend, commitment, passion, health, and focus. All right, you guys, that's your reading. I'll see you back here in just a little bit. Have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.